Hello and welcome to another Lion's Table. Reading from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 42 through 44, So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, it is raised imperishable. What is sown in dishonor is raised in glory. What is sown in weakness is raised in power. What is sown a natural body is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. God gives eternal life to a body that he has designed. In 1 Corinthians 15, 38, he will not be able to take a body that he has not designed. God has said, do not mix seed. He is talking about genetic material. The vax is not a vaccine as we know it which usually contain the actual virus. So what is it? All of you probably know that yesterday the FDA approved of the Pfizer jab, calling it now Comirnaty. The FDA states on their own webpage that Comirnaty, or Comirnaty, contains messenger mRNA. How is that described? as a kind of genetic material. That very clear description comes from the FDA. So what kind of genetic material? Whose genetic material? The FDA does not specify. We need to ask then, but ask then, but don't we all have our own kind of genetic material? Yes, we do. If I die of a natural virus or a natural vaccine, which years ago the vaccine was made of, the natural virus, then I die by God's design and I will be raised into my spiritual body. Reading again from 1 Corinthians 15, 36 through 40. Someone will ask, how are the dead raised? What kind of body will they come? You fool, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. What you sow is not the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or something else. But God gives it a body as he has designed, and to each of seed he gives its own. Not all flesh is the same. Men have one kind of flesh, animals have another, birds another, and fish another. There are also heavenly bodies and earthly bodies. Keep my decrees. Do not mate different kinds of animals. Leviticus 19, verse 9. Remember, our body is of God's creation. God gives it a body as he has designed, and to each kind of seed. Similarly, there are different kinds of flesh. One kind for humans, another for animals, another for birds, another for fish. That can be found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 38 through and 39. So... As for taking the Comirnaty, we effectively, as Christians, defend through 1 Corinthians 15 that if this contains a kind of genetic material, we as Christians cannot accept a kind of genetic material. We are already, by God's design, our own kind of genetic material. Exactly. But, you know, some people will ask the question about government. Well, if the government tells us to do it, shouldn't we do that? Again, God established his government here on this earth when he sent his son. Now, how do we obey? We love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the government that he established, Jesus Christ, who is our salvation. Who is his government? Well, Jesus Christ, who is the, the, God the Son. Who was at the beginning, was with God, and is God. Jesus is the head of God's government, and we, the people who are in him, follow his lead. Let us be absolutely clear about that. God is not referring to any man, man-controlled government. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is good, pleasing, and the perfect will of God. Now reading from Acts 4, verse 12. Salvation exists in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Didn't Peter and John disobey government when they declared that they would not stop proclaiming Christ? 
You bet. What shall we do with these men, they asked. It is clear to everyone living in Jerusalem that a remarkable miracle has occurred through them, and we cannot deny it. But to keep this message from spreading any further among the people, we must warn them not to speak to anyone in his name, in this name. How about that, folks? Miracles were happening. But they feel, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, feel that they must warn everybody so this good news doesn't get to them. Then they called them in again and commanded them. No, they called Peter and John in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Sound familiar? But Peter and John replied, Judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight to listen to you rather than God. For we cannot stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4, 16 through 20. And what about Mordecai? Remember Mordecai? He would not bow to Haman. Jesus overturned the tables in the temple. And while on this earth, Jesus did not seek that of his own interests. Instead, he was about his father's business. Not man's business. Not politician's business. Not Rome's business. Not the business of the government. Remember, our body is of God's creation. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. 1 Corinthians 20, 15, verse 44. Well, thanks for joining us on this Lion's Table. We hope this has been enlightening and eye-opening and important to you and blessed you. And we ask you, as always, if you have any prayer requests, leave them behind. We will be glad to pray for you. Please leave your comments. Like and subscribe this video channel if you can. We post these videos on, um, on, um, on, um, on uh, Rumble, so they're all found there. And uh, if you want to subscribe there, we ask you to do that. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you again.